You're listening to the Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Starfall, run by one of our GMs, Tony Stevens. Hope you enjoy. To another action-packed episode brought to you by Saturday Night Gaming. This is Tony Stevens. I am bringing you Starfall Season Three, more than a. When we last left off, our cast and crew was in seriously dire straits. Uh, Yip Yap is drowning. The Bone Spurs is trying to save him. Rogoth is electrocuted by a massive dragon Pikachu thing, and Ravina is having some issues with her aim. But I'll let them go ahead and introduce themselves again. I am Tony Stevens. I am your GM. I am begging you to click like, share, and subscribe and tell your grandma about the show because she probably wants to find out about these cool stories too. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and start at my left with the young lady. Uh, Go ahead and introduce yourself and your character and let us know what's going on with you right now. Uh, name's Casey, playing Ravina, who's currently having some issues with her magic. Maybe it doesn't work so well in the water. Um, <laughs> don't feed it after midnight and don't get it wet. Yes. And trying to defeat this dragon water creature. Water dragon creature? It is a water dragon creature. There is that. All right. And you, sir? I am... Um... Ronnie, I'm playing Rogoth, and right now, I am deep fried in the water. I imagine for Rogoth, that was kind of like a shot of espresso. Mm. Maybe he just woke up. He's like, oh, oh, it's time to get to business. All right, you, babyface. Okay, I'll accept it this time. Um, This is the second time, so it's just sticking now. Uh, it's whatever. It's a coping process. Don't you remember last time on our Christmas episode? Oh, yes. Ages ago. Ages ago. <laughs> mm, yeah, well, it must have been a few weeks ago, huh? A- anyways. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, um, I'm Brady. I play Yip Yap. And I remember I'm doing pretty good at getting this bread right now. It- it's almost got. So don't even, don't even worry. It's about to happen. It's about to get got any time now. All right, and you, sir, with the magnificent beard. Uh, my character is uh, a genie named Jen Callus. Uh, Callus is his uh, human name, and Jen is his genie name. He is not half human, but he felt he needed a last name to fit in. And so far, he has. Yeah. Well, I have no last name. Yap. Yeah. Yap yeah, is your. No, but that's one word. Your first oh, it's name all is, one word. Your first all name one. Is yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. It's all one word. <laughs> all right. And as we left off last time, if I remember correctly, now this is a long time ago, but I remember that Jim Callis was actually swimming to save Yip Yap from his drowning fate. So, sir, what I'm going to need you to do is. You're gonna have to roll for it. All right. So this I'm is, gonna swim <laughs> for it. You're gonna swim for it. So this is an 18 difficulty to swim over to him. <laughs> it got 18. That was last time. Was it? Yeah. You scammed me. <laughs> Scammer. This uh, time I got 17. Oh. That's good. Well, that not. There are no many flip. ripples in the water right now that are actually making it very difficult for you to Maybe continue you gotta, to like, swim towards. Maybe add to it. Speed. I got speed defense against ripples. <laughs> right there. Don't even lie. You could have. You could have brought it Train down against before ripples. you rolled. That's true. Well, I thought that was an after the fact. Like, let's see no, how. No, it it's a down. before the fact thing. But remember that for next time. It's trained against ripples. So right now, it's not actually it's hurting you. It's, it's not like your drown. You're just not making forward motion at this point. You're still one turn away from him because these water ripples have basically thrown you off. You're treading to make sure you don't drown. You don't want to become sunken bones. I'm an excellent swimmer. 
But you're doing good. Yeah, you're not drowning. So that would actually bring us to Rogoth. Alrighty. Sinking in the water, fried about, but you're not having any issues with breathing because you can breathe underwater right now. You took a magical potion. Alright, so where's the dragon adjacent to me? You would actually be near the body of the dragon. It's heading back towards this concussive blast that was just shot at it. So it's heading back towards the boat, trying to, again, trying to capsize it. Um, so you would be near the body of the dragon. It's within uh, the close range of you. I'm going to try and use smashing and I'll bring it down that's specialized on it. So that would take, if you're specialized, that would take it from a 21 to a 15. Yeah. I'll try. 19. Oh, wow. So 19 not only gives you... Isn't that a bonus effect? Yeah, there is a bonus effect for 19. Alright, special rolls. So 19 is a bonus minor effect. You can either get three additional points of damage or a minor effect. The minor effect could be like... I can't swim. Or... No, a minor effect against the, the, the enemy. Yeah, he can't swim. A minor effect would make the sea dragon unable to swim. It is a minor. I could say that you could cause it to have like a lower difficulty. Cause a fish to drown. Yeah, I'll do the lower difficulty for everybody. Okay. Boom. Boom, sir. So, what's the attack damage you have? It's going to be eight damage. So with the claymore, you basically just slice into the, the body, I guess, like mm -hmm. going through the scales and everything, which you manage to actually make a large gash, which makes an opening. So that would actually ease other people's ability to hit through its armored scaling and into hitting it if they aim for that gash. All right. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. You got to roll to stay above water. Okay. So it's a 12. Yes. Does he, can he get assistance? Can I like shot? An 18. Oh, I knew I picked the right oh, dice. Not. So you are staying above water. Yep. Now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Never mind. That's a 13. That looks like an 18. Do you want to swim towards the boat still? Uh, no, let's fight this thing. What's it? Like, uh, if it's easy, it's difficulty is at 18. Well, if it's at 18, muscles of iron brings down 15. Minus another thing for my edge, it's now a 12. So I have to roll above a 12 to hit this thing. Boom. Uh, yeah, but you still need to make the maneuver to get to it. Or, hear me out, I could throw something. Because hmm? ah, I had my gas that unsuccessful but, throw yeah. returns the spear. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Right. Now I somebody's actually thinking. You think? I see a plan. I see now I don't have a helicopter there. person here. I gotta think. Watch it. <laughs> she won't be this for a while. Uh, she, but she will. And then, and, then, and, then, and then she'll know. And then her character will just like leave you out to dry. She's well, like the only one that keeps people from leaving. This you is this is a safe space. We don't go around sharing what happens here. Oh, okay. Yeah, safe space. Oh, shh. Oh, shh. We got y'all don't be telling on me. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you're throwing the guy Athna. But wait, <laughs> I'll deep the water. <laughs> what if I miss? Does it fall? 
Into the depths. These, these are all things that you need. It floats. It, it floats. I remember. It floats. Oh, that's what Atha was telling me. She's important. She was like, "Hey, this." She said, worry. "By the way, this thing floats." It floats. It floats. She never said that. That's okay. So that's part of the the gamble. I have no XP. Mm-hmm. That's true. So <laughs> you said you got that. So he eats no to eighteen. You Take can. This. It's now a nine. It's now a nine. Okay. A twelve! All oh, right, you didn't even have to pay me that. Boom! Man. Can I have it back? No. What? You paid it ahead of time. That's how that Scam works. Get scammed. But, what is the damage? A six. So. Six big boy damage. What's the? Uh, does it have no? It just comes back to you, right? That's the residual. Um, successful throw, return of spear. Yep. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you would see uh, probably Jen as you're as you're approaching. You would see that Yip Yip basically gives like one hard push to like bounce above the water real quick, taking his spear from behind his back and launching it, and it looks like a beam of light. It just goes. Splashes through the water, hitting the old feist, and then shoo, returning right back to him. He grabs it and then immediately starts trying to trap him. Yeah. That's amazing. It was it was pre- actually pretty amazing. Yeah, this is a Juice Brother powers. Yeah. All right. So now it is the old feist's turn, which it is going to basically launch itself out of the water and slam its full body weight down into the water. Causing a capsizing wave. So everybody give a speed defense roll. Speed defense? Speed. Now, do I have to use my Wait, speed defense? Wait, do I have to do speed fire? defense? This is a wave coming to for the knock the boat over or well it's like a ripple so basically this thing like launches itself out and then body I have a speed defense. Like a, a, a belly blast that. into the water. Like so would this be it. against an 18? Mm-hmm. Cool. So how much do you get if you have if you're trained in speed defense? If you're trained in it, it would take it down to a 15. 15. So mine's now a 12 because I'm specialized. Okay, I'm mm-hmm. feeling it. What, a 12! A 12! Uh, speed defense, do you have speed defense? Take it down even more. No. Okay. So speed defense would just be speed. based upon your oh, speed Oh, I can roll. add more speed. So you can use any of the edge from here to ease it down speed. for you if you want to. Cores, or if you have Whoa. any kind of asset that would make it easier. You ain't got no edge in it. Yeah, I don't understand that. This is the only asset I could. If you want to use well, asset no, I guess you to could. make it easier, no, you, you can't. can't. Um, it just means but basically it costs you'd two. be using the speed asset. The first time using it costs to two. Bring, okay. well, I'm to bring. Well, roll. Let's see that's how you're rolling against this. So you're basically doing a defense I, I move got, right now. You did. Eighteen. Okay, so with my edge, what is? Well, that gives you one for free um, as far as points to use. Now oh, you can shit, use two more of these to bring it down one here. So right now, if you made it at 18, <laughs> so you can bring it down by spending two more of uh, your speed points. You can bring it down to a 15. Um, and you do have three efforts, so you could spend an additional two points per effort after that. So you're using the first one. You have two more times that you can bring it down. That would cost two points per turn per time if you want to do that. So that takes it to a 15 benchmark. All right, good job. All right. I'm specialized, so it would take me down to 12. All right. Not with that. Six. No, not with that. So I guess it just it, I just go with the whip with the riptide. Um, 
Yeah, it would just push you out further from the boat. So you'd be about the same distance as Yip Yap at this point, about mm -hmm. 50 feet from the boat. Oh. What did you get, Casey? 18. 18. So you're good. You're staying on the boat. Yip Yap, what'd you get? A 12. I need a 9. All right, good job. And Callus. What? 18. For real? Yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, I Thanks. got uh, speed defense. Oh, that's great. You did good. Uh, so that's like 21. Good for you. Yeah, hey, that's something. So yeah, you're the only one that base, but basically underwater you'd just be pushed out by the ripple effect wave. All right, so that puts you a turn away from the boat and further away from the creature. It's probably you hit it and it said back off. Mm -hmm. All right, so that brings us to the top of the turn with Ravina. Okay. Grabbing the bird in three versus thing. It's on. Oh, shoot. Oh, is that a cipher? Yeah, it's a cipher. Gravity inversion. see got gravity nullifier That's for water. no this is gravity inversion yeah. well you can't use it against this thing because no. it's You've got a level three cipher, yeah. and this thing is a level seven. I have a level eight cipher. That you can use against it. I have to touch it though. You do. <laughs> is it close? I mean, it just basically belly flopped in the water right in front of you because it was trying to like capsize the boat and get him away. So yeah, you'd be within close range of it. You could like jump on his back and like. Okay, how would I like do use the cypher? You just now? use it. You just use it? Yeah, that's how the cypher works. Do you get any more? Um, so with the cypher you can, what is it? How did you keep it, Ronnie? When you use points, that was one of your player intrusions as a warrior. I think it's just just a regular intrusion that everybody had. Like you can just use the yeah. You the spend XP an XP, point. you can keep it. Yeah, if you spend an XP, you can keep the thing after you use it. Oh, so you use it again? And I will use that to keep it, and I will use it to. Right, so that's the shocker. It's an electrical current. No, water and electricity. Inflicting damage equal to the cipher's level. So that's eight damage. Mm -hmm. That would bypass armor. Nice. So basically you're you're pissed at this thing now. You jump out, grab onto its back, and just like slam this magical object you're given this probably like a, a stone that's got like an electrical charge to it and the entire creature is now like coursing with electricity and writhing in the water it is not its own lightning breath you you've done damage to it um, with magical lightning did i did i smack it where the cut is yeah okay yeah, so that's what made it easier for you to do all right so you have electrocuted it, and you can definitely, at this point, just because you were close enough, you can get back to the boat. 
because okay. you haven't you haven't got capsized yet out of everybody here. And that brings us to Jin Callus. Yay. It's your turn. You're still one turn away or one movement away from getting to Yip Yap if that's what you want to do. What about your Drake? What about his Drake? Oh, yeah, his Drake would be getting here this turn. Save me! <laughs> Isn't it a tiny Drake? I know. No, it's, it's big enough. It's about the size of a horse. Oh, so it's like a medium. He can drake. ride it, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's muscly dense. Yeah, these are riding. I drakes. used to have a Drake. In one of my other characters, so I know what they are. Oh no! Yeah, I was the mother of dra- dragons. But the uh, stepmother of drakes is what I was. I had two dragons. I had. They one. called me Mammy Drake. All right, yeah. Uh, your Drake is here. It could actually lift you out of the water if you wanted to. Yes, lift me. Save me. Now. This would put you to the point where you can see the creature in the water. I can see. You can see it if you wanted to attack it. Boom! Spurt! I'm joking. <laughs> that would be really close attack, but you're at long range right now. Do you have anything that's long range for you? Fiery hand of doom. I don't know if that'll work. All my stuff is fire based. It'll just be. Clear. You are a fire creature, yeah. I'm just going to fly away. You're just going to fly away? Everyone's fine, right? No. <laughs> I mean, Yippie yeah, has drowning. And drowning? Yeah. Well, I think you're doing good at not drowning. Yeah, this is this I thought. You just yeah. run in the Can bridge. I see, like, the creature? Like... You can see it in the water, like the large up out shower. Of it. Yeah, like part of it's like up right. and like the I'm going to jump off the Drake and like, boom, spur. Okay. For real? Maybe I shouldn't do that. No, I'm not. I'm not going to judge you for it. You can do I that got, if you want I to. Got a... If you can successfully make a movement roll and then the attack roll, I'll let you do that. Just because that sounds epic. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there's anything I can do. I'm a fire creature. He's surrounded by water. Well, it's magic fire. Okay, I'm going to bone spur. I have to get up high, so when I come down, I come down hard. Alright, I roll to like move, move right first. All right, so do the movement. And so... No, yeah. you're just yeah. jumping, so I'm going to okay. set your movement difficulty I just rolled. to aiming towards it at 15. Four. What? I roll the four. Bone spur! And I trip. <laughs> and my foot gets caught in the saddle. Or, yeah. Yeah. It's... I'm just dangling on the bone spur. <laughs> you're still on the track. Ah, uh, flying around in circles above him, you just see Jen like hanging upside down, caught on the, the his foot caught on the the saddle strap, just unable to make this this maneuver. All right, uh, that brings us to Rogoth. I mean, we're trying to get closer to the dragon. All right, so it's rolling. You're looking at an 18 difficulty to swim through the water. I am specialized. All right, so that takes it down to a 12. Twenty. Twenty. Net 20, you are so fast and over to it right now, immediately ready to attack if you want to roll your attack maneuver. And then I'm, uh... You're going to smash again? Yeah, so that bring it down to a 12. Yeah. Five. I can swim uh, fast to it, but you got all the way over to it. You're just—it's like as soon as you got there, getting the the range of motion with a claymore underwater is difficult. All right. Yep. Yeah. Eighteen. I need to see it. Eighteen. I think you mean uh twelve. 
That's usually what you try to take it down to. I won't make you repeat for the class how you do it, but yes. So um, here's my master plan of how I take it down to. No, I'm not. It's no, a lot of work. Just, just, just make sure you're not drowning here. <sighs> this is my teleport spell that Creed taught me. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't. Right. A sixteen. All right. So you're treading successfully. What do you do? I want to attack this thing. A twelve. Yeah. All right. Twelve. So you're launching the spear again. Word. Word. Do it. Um, take my might, and I would like to invoke wreck. That counts. All right. Throw an object, don't it? I'm telling you. So What's the effect on Rick? Minus one to roll, plus three to attack. All right. So you're now needing to roll. It's a five. It's a five. Help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. Help. Oh. Um. So Jin, from your vantage point, hanging upside down from your... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you see Yip Yap, he like slaps the water really hard and he like launches himself into the air and he takes his spear and he just goes Hah! and like this bolt of light just goes into the water. But it floats. So And then he like he like splashes back into the water and he's like looking around. <laughs> Does he get back? No. What? Is it at the bottom of the lake? That is a non successful spear throw. A five? Can I get it back? Oh. I forgot to mention, now, in my master times alone, I actually tied a long string to it, so it's actually always on my wrist. <laughs> so I just pulled back in. Gaslight. Like, no. All right. I forgot about that. No, I, I, I forgot to mention I, have, I forgot something to mention. So just from going forward, I have feet of strength. I should have read that. Oh, yeah. Um, so what it is, uh, it gives me a, it's basically a free strength asset. Nice. From you should anything use that. that's might. You should use that. Yes, I should. Let's keep that in mind. All right, so if that's Yip Yap's turn, then that brings it back to the old feist. <sighs> this is a non-consecutive turn from when it last used its lightning breath. Everybody that's in the water, give me a speed defense roll. Ooh, I'm low on might. Can I borrow some? Can I take some from the bank? I'll Sp pay back. Speed defense. I know, but this is a might question. Nope. Four. Four. Right. Casey. Here you go. Are you in the water? I'm not in the water. So there it is. Oh. If you're on the water, basically, if you're not flying on a drake at the moment. So I need to do a nine because I'm specialized in speed defense. So that takes 18, 15, 12. That's actually a 20. That looks like a crit failure, sir. No. Oh. With me. It, it was a misclick. <laughs> it, it, it was a so you just took this down to a 15. Oh. Not as bad as him, though. Not as bad as him. He's taking, like, extra damage. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. I have ward. Doesn't that that boosts your armor? Okay, so it does, but it, it said deflect attacks. Ward is on what page? One ninety six. Shield of energy around you at all times. It helps you deflect attacks. You gain plus one to armor. Yeah, so it's just a plus one to your armor. I'll let it be used for the lightning since it's a war. It's a magical thing. Oh, that's an action. The resin looks good. So. 
So, what'd you get, Ronnie? I got a four. Oh my. Okay, still not a one though. Mm-hmm. Not one. At least you know, it's not a one. Oh, okay. Doesn't I'll let you use the one point of ward armor against lightning. Since lightning would normally bypass armor, I'll let you use that as a one to discount some of that. Okay. So you would take six damage. And what is that? What do I do? You start with your might pool. So six of those. Rogoth would take seven damage. And anybody that crit failed with a one. So this would be before or after armor. The lightning usually bypasses armor. I'm letting her use her one point of ward as oh, okay. a magical armor. Oh, this is lightning. Okay. Yes. This is the lightning breath. Now, if you crit failed with a one, you're looking at ten points of damage. Huh? If you crit failed with a one, you're looking at ten points of damage. Oh, Jeez. um, free pen. <laughs> you gotta get that um, I need to borrow some might. Uh, well, what you would do is you'd start with your might and count out to ten. That's all my might. If that's all your might, you hand it to me, and then you check off on your sheet with a pencil rather than a pen because you can't erase pen. Uh, uh, you'd actually. Do you be know who I am? I, I know how to erase pen from paper. Impaired. Do I get a free throw if you threw it at me? No, because you weren't paying attention. I was busy. Well, I was busy getting your attention, so. Okay, take my three, five, ten, twelve. All ten of these. This is all the money you have left. So you, <laughs> yes, sir, you are impaired. Now, read. Oh my gosh, it just doesn't want to leave you. It doesn't. All right, so what does impaired do to you? Um, plus one effort per level. What does that mean? What does that mean? Ignore minor and major effects as results to rolls. Combat rolls of 17 to 20 deals only plus one damage. Plus one effort per level. So I get extra effort? No. Why? I don't think that's what that means. That's what it means. Plus one effort per level. So that would mean I get six effort now. Boom, son. I'm now buffed. Stop talking. <laughs> the hell? That makes no sense. It's yes. damage track. You're impaired. Well, I'm just reading what the paper says. It says here I get plus one effort per level. And my level is three. One this is Max, because I'm right. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm spitting fat. Hey, look at him. He's getting the book out. Absolutely no he's, sense. He, he wants to be right so bad. It's probably like a plus one effort on your part to try and succeed. Um, I hope not. Yeah, I know. You, know what, you don't have to look, actually. Oh, that's okay. I'm looking at you. Yeah. You're challenging this. No, 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 no. I want to know for you. No, 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 no. Because that's my, that's my duty to you is to make sure that you know what's You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me I'm right. I don't mind being told. Here, 218. I do not mean, mind being told that I'm right. All right. The effects of taking damage. Impaired is a wounded or injured state. When an impaired character applies effort, it costs one extra point per level applied. So, if you want to use effort, instead of just spending the three for the first time you want to use the effort, you have to spend four to make the effort work. For the twos that come after, you have to spend three. Ah. It's plus one effort to all things. My, my paper don't say that. Yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> my paper don't now, say that. So it costs four points instead of three. Applying two level, levels of effort costs seven instead of five. 
An impaired oh. character ignores minor and major effects as results to their rolls, and they don't deal as much extra damage in combat with a special roll. In combat, a roll of 17 or higher deals only one additional point of damage. When an impaired PC takes enough damage to reduce one of their stat pools to zero, they become debilitated. Debilitated? Yeah. Which means that you can't even, like... Can move. Can't even move. Can move only in immediate like, distance. Cannot move with speed pool of zero. Well, I got a big pool of speed. Well, speed is what comes next on your damage track. Like, that's what I'll start taking. Can I just give you intelligence? I don't have very much. <laughs> you don't. But you can't. I'm smart enough to know that I need to give my way. Alright. So, that was the old feist's turn. He scammed me. That dude hits you with a bolt of lightning. He saw you throw that magical spear at him again, and he was like, nope. I forgot I lost my spear. And then he opened up his mouth, and he basically said, sucks to suck. <laughs> and, like, shot lightning straight at you, bro. Uh, and that brings us back to the top of the turn, which is Ravina. Okay. Hmm. I like how like the boat so like for real y'all got like about 50 feet into this like well, you just gotta kill it at this y'all just like phew, not even try to get across the water anymore we're done I just we're, 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 you're just like I wait can I try to keep paddling yeah <laughs> yes. okay you don't have to you don't have to stay and help them if you don't want to you can just be like Okay, so what are Olympic row class? You would be rolling light to try and get across the water. Okay. I might just start walking towards the shore. Like Jason Voorhees, just like. <laughs> um. Yeah. So at this point, the difficulty of rowing the boat across the water is a little bit less than swimming. It's a fifteen to try and row across the water. Boom. All right, so you are one movement closer. So I'll let you keep track of this since you're in the boat. You are now three turns away from the shore. All right, that takes us to... Rogoth. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and attack it again. Am I the only one in the boat? You are the only one in the yeah. boat. Jin is hanging from his foot, uh, flying in the air on a drake, and Rogoth is walking around in the water, and yip yap. He's crying. I'm not crying. Yeah, he got hurt. I'm and he sobbing. Lost his spear. <laughs> it's a bad day to be yip yap. Can I get the fishing line? There's no fishing line. It's a good man. I need XP so I can re-roll. Oh man, we have that, three. That, see, that's why we haven't got. You this, need to change your dice. We haven't even got the stupid fruit yet. Jam? How am I gonna start my juice business? Yeah, no success. It's, it's a bad yet. day. At least on land, I wouldn't have lost this stupid spear. It's a bad day to be a gangster. I mean, you still would have lost it. You would just be easier for you to find it. Exactly. And now, now you've got to be like good at deep diving to find it because you threw it to like the Rogoth is. is. Rogoth is. Rogoth is good at walking. Rogoth, will you go get me my spear? I don't know where the hell the spear is. Well, you got <laughs> you got like 60 minutes okay, worth of water. First of all, outside of the metagaming aspect, you're above the water treading. He's in the water walking around. Exactly. If he happens to see a glistening magical item, you better pick it up and get back. Or it's going to be consequences. And he decides to pick it up and try to attune to it. That's his decision. Oh my gosh. I will. I will. You have a Drake? I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. He does not have a Drake. Nope. He wasn't here with y'all loaded Drakes. And you didn't even learn how to ride them. So, I'll, I'll slash your tires for real. Don't even play with me. <laughs> This is, this is outside the game. This is metagaming for real. 
I threatened you. Stay away from my spear. Those tires are mine now. Bro, we've been playing this game for a long time. There's been like swords that get taken from people. Mm-hmm. There's I, been, I, 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 I ain't playing like that. Yeah, he, he invented the well Folks, this may be my last episode. I ain't gonna lie. I, li- I literally attacked him with like an entire move that was designed to kill a person. And he just like, he said, well, die. That, we're, we're friends. That took yeah. a lot of planning on my part for an entire game to get to that point. But. You wouldn't even use it. You don't know how to use it. I didn't. Right. Like I he said, hasn't I even didn't said see anything. It. He didn't. Well, th- this is just this is a warning. I wouldn't even know. He, he hasn't. He hasn't even rolled the perception to find your spear and steal it from you yet. I better, found it. You better not. I would I? I have a sword that's made of animation. Oh, I see everything. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right. Eight damage. So. He's going to take my spear. Can you believe it? Let's it's your turn. Him. I see a spear. <laughs> well, I'm going to swim towards it. You are hanging from a drake that's flying in the air. Yeah, you, you can see it. What's that glint in the <laughs> ocean? <laughs> All right. So what would you like to do, though? I would like to climb back up. <laughs> Onto the drake? Yeah, yeah. So I can, like, you know. Do you want to try and attack the creature? You want to try and fly towards the shore? I could be like, fly lower! (laughs) And I'm like, ah! I'm still dangling. Can I do that? Yeah. Okay, that's what I want to do. Take a movement roll for the drake to get close enough to the the dragon, and then you'll make an attack roll. There you go. 15. So, 15 gets you close enough to attack if you make a successful attack. Now, he is, right. his benchmark is at 18, starting out. If you want to lower his benchmark, then you yeah. could pay me might to lower it down. How much? Well, how much edge do you have in might? I got three. So that automatically takes him down to a 15. How many efforts do you have? Should be the middle row between tier and and uh, XP. There's a thing that says effort. Oh, I have three. All right. So if you hand me four green chips, that's four of your might. That'll take it from a fifteen to a nine. Well, I'm doing that. What is that? Is that four? That's three. Four, I think. No, that's five. That's five. There you go. This better be worth it. Let's hope so. Um, That's a see. nine I'll, that you have to roll. I'll swing my scythe. My sickle. Oh, yeah, you have a sickle. Yeah. Oh, I need a sickle. <laughs> 18. Nice. Now, 18 actually gets you. Feel the wrath of my honey sickle! <laughs> <laughs> 18 gets you a damage uh, damage bonus, uh, so you get to give him two additional points of damage. What's the damage on your side, or sickle? Uh, D8 damage plus two fire damage. Right, so take a D8 and roll a D8. And then it's plus one fire damage. Uh, each turn each after. Turn. So he's giving the burning damage. Burn! Make a D8 and then burn sickle is a better name. Burn sickle. Okay. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> what is this huge note you're writing to yourself? I, I, I forgot that I'm specialized in melee. And I always forget. <laughs> so I wrote a big old note. Do not this, forget. Do not forget. Plus six to melee rolls. Refer to skills. Wow. Because I forget. I, I wouldn't have lost my spear. No, well, that's not melee. You are hush. Seven. That's a thrown object. What's up? Seven. Seven was your roll? Yep. Right there. Or a one. But I think it's a seven. And you needed a nine. That's a seven. Confirmed. And you're out of XP. So, uh, yeah. You're just you're just out of reach of the creature. Wait, wait. No, that was damage. Oh, that was damage. Yeah. Yeah, you already succeeded in yeah, the attack. On it. All right, so the seven damage plus two, seven, eight, nine, so nine damage. 
And he's dead! I've killed yet another beast. And he'll take one additional point of damage each time it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn again. Whenever it's your turn, he'll take another point of damage. Oh. Alright, so that brings us to Yip Yip. Yes, that is me. The man of the lost spear. Yip Yip the Great. 18. And D20 roller always. Alright, so go ahead and roll your 12 to keep swimming. Oh, my 12, okay. A 13! Hey, you're still swimming. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do you do? I want to whack this creature. The it fish. is still long range from you, so you want to get over to him is what you're telling me. Yes. Alright. So give me a speed movement. Speed? Yeah, roll your 12. That is a 2. That I heard you, John. Unsuccessful. Are you sure? It's yes. not a one. It is not a one. You are unsuccessful. Now at least move a few inches. In the wrong direction. No. To the side. Well, I'll take it. All right. <laughs> the tide catches. It's the art of the deal. <laughs> you move a few inches back and forth until you're right back where you started. All right. It's the old vice turn. So it has already used its lightning breath. Uh, let's see. So it's going to have to make a direct attack towards something. The only one that's really hurt it has been Rogoth. And you're the one that's under the water. Mm -hmm. I just can't imagine it trying anything else. So... It's going to swim directly at you if you want to make a swim uh, speed defense roll against it. Okay, I'm specialized in speed defense, so I bring it down to 12. Correct. All my dice are going into jail. <laughs> Taking all the good rolls today. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, so it's going to hit you? Yeah, it's going to hit me. Alright, so... So we'll just have it lash with the, uh, it's basically going to headbutt you again, doing its capsize movement. Mm -hmm. um, how much armor do you have? I have three. You have three armor. So. You can take four damage then. That's after armor? Yeah. So basically bashes you again, launching you back and doing damage to you. Now we're back to the top of the turn with Ravina, who is making the getaway. Still at 15? Mm -hmm. Oh. Probably just a lot of capsizing waves that are happening, so you're just trying to steady out the boat at the moment. And on to Jin. You are still flying above the dragon, hanging upside down f from your drake. Okay. But you're no with the damage. Instantly. You are within attack range of him okay. because you haven't yeah. you haven't left that range. You basically told your drake, I can't. I can't what did you call it? Doritos, taco, enchilada. You named it. Chipotle. Chipotle. That's it. So Chipotle, you gave him the orders of like just flying around above the dragon. Because he's spicy, I get it. There's Prince, Chipotle, and Luther, I think were the three. We're gonna dragons. roll. I'll swing my honey sickle. Hit him with the honey sickle. I miss. What'd you get? Five. That's what I rolled, man. No, you just swing and a miss. Back look. Five, five, five. Whoa. Fifteen. All right, back to Yip Yip. It's me. Still sad. Roll 12, just keep swimming. Roll my 12. 
That's a four. I'm drowning. Oh, no. <laughs> Help me. Actually, that was a misroll. Okay. Can I get a re <coughs> You got an XP. No, my hand slipped, though, and the dice fell. <sighs> I didn't see that at all. You didn't see the dice just fall? I mean, I saw the dice fall out I, of your I didn't hand. I need to roll it. It fell out my hand. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right, what happened? Would I do that? Well, technically, my lung capacity is still a thing, so. <laughs> well, you're now sinking, and for each turn that you're sinking, you take three points of damage for drowning damage. Bypasses armor, because obviously it's just being inhaled. But. Do I owe you anything now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I instantly drown. You are you may, yeah you're drowning at this point. I thought I'll hold my breath for like two minutes. <laughs> You've been like, holding your breath for turns, man. You nah, I've been trying to watch. It's like that's like twenty turns worth. Hey, man. You know what? Take take take. Quit warning and take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll if, it, if it makes you feel better, I know yeah. you need it. I know you need the little things. <laughs> it's the little things in life. It's a little thing. It's, you know, I, it's I, my I, urge to see Chip Chat come around, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he tries to get revenge for the death of his brother, Yip Yap. All right. So, Yip Yap's drowning again. Uh, poor Yip Yap. And that brings us back to the dragon's turn. And it is... It's going to try to capsize the boat. So I'll actually need the speed defense on Ravina. Where is Ravina? He's trying to capsize the boat. So he's set at an 18 right now if you want to bring him down. All right. So that takes it down to a 15. And the boat is capsized. Tossed about. Flung into the air. Smashed to smithereens. No, it's just capsized. Uh, but you are in the water, so you'll begin doing on your turn, which is actually right now. You go ahead and give me the roll for you to tread water, which is starting out at the 18. Which, what would I use? Might. You too are drowning at this point. So it's three points of drowning damage per turn that you stay in the water, starting with your might pool. I would do just, just give me three, three green chips, and I'll keep tally at this point. All right, so you've got two people drowning now. Jen. Peace. There are multiple people drowning now, and you are flying around on your dragon. Oh, it's a trolley problem. I can't save them all. I better just fly away. You can your your Drake can, your Drake can carry two people and a yip yip. Mm, two people. What if I put him in my knapsack? Yep. He still counts as a full size person because he has a six foot long adamantine sword of wrath. <laughs> okay. Is that what it is? What? It's the sword of wrath. Yeah, I don't know. It's the onyx blade. It's the onyx blade. All right, I'm still dangling. You are dangling. <laughs> so, like, I'm low enough. I can grab somebody. You can grab one of them. Grab me. We're the Juice Brothers. Who's the closest? Um, I can tell you who's the most injured. Who's? It's me. Is it? Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Stuff. Give me that helicopter. I mean, helicopter rescue. He has, like... What do I need? I to... have less than 20 health. What do I have to hit to, like... He's impaired. Nothing. I'm gonna train trapezes. Okay. Mises so trapezes. I just fly over. I know trapeze. Uh, no. At this point, he would need to get above the water. So if he's able to roll to get above the water, How far you can below the water is. Yeah, because he's hanging. He can just go. Ooh. Yeah. He he can extend his bone shanks. 
<laughs> and I can grab on and <laughs> stab into you. Six more. Lower it in. Shinks. And I grab it on. Grab on to it. Uh, it. I'll set the difficulty at the water difficulty, which is 18. Why is the water so difficult? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't make the rules. Yes, you do. I can do. I lower it? Can I lower the difficulty? This water is rough. You can lower the difficulty, yes. It's a lake. Uh, you can use your might to lower it down. To what? Nine? I don't know. You have three, three, three automatically, three. so that takes it down to a 15. If you pay me four more might, that would take it down to a nine. You would have to roll a nine. Might. I'm doing it. He really is concerned about you, Yip Yap. One more. All right, so you just have to roll a nine, sir. That is a 16. I didn't even need to spend that. Excellent. I yeah. saw the one and I got worth. <laughs> <laughs> so you would actually, you dun, dun, Chipotle dun, is just dun. soaring above. Dun, 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 dun. Is that his name, Chipotle? Yeah, his name is Chipotle. And you just basically submerge yourself into the water and you're like, <laughs> Bones float. And then, like, boom, catch a hold of Yip Yap by his sword, and you're like holding the blade, like the the handle of the sword, which is attached to him, yeah. which you pull him out. And the, the theme to Jurassic Park is playing. Yes, the entire time. All right. Uh, Rogoth. Yes. You'll move, sir. All right. I assume I don't notice anything around because the boat was that far away, right? It was it was about fifty feet away from you because you got hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that would be hard for you to see. Okay. So. I'm and you're underwater still. I'm assuming you're like living yeah. underwater. Yeah. You're still underwater. Yeah. Yeah, he can breathe underwater. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to. Rogoth actually stop fighting this thing and head to shore. One one. W W R D. What would Rogoth do? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. It's not what I personally would do. I'd, I'd run away. Do. Yeah. I would, yeah. I'd say screw away. this. Uh, Rogoth would keep fighting. That's your type of character, that's true. Mm. Alright. Uh, uh. So he's going to try and hit him again. Not with that. What the? My dice hate me tonight. Oh no. How bad was that? It was yeah. a three. As long as it's not a one, that's all I... Yeah, 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 it wasn't a one. And that mostly would have been a motion, uh, like a, a movement, just to try and get close enough to it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you're still into the water. Um, after Brogoth, that would bring us to Yip Yap. Did we skip me? It's me! No, we didn't. He's just at the end of it. So he saved him out of the water. He just hasn't had his move yet. Oh. Um. He's at the end of the turn. He's before the dragon. I feel like this dragon has swapped where it's supposed to be moving so many times. Swapped its turn. I put it after you. The first time it struck, but I put it after you. I put you at the bottom of the turn. Because you were drowning. You used to be the only person drowning. Okay, can I use my turn one action for recovery roll? Actually, yes. Yes, sir. So mark off one of your recovery rolls and roll a d6. Check. Check. What does that mean? So mean. basically he's going to mark off that one action recovery roll. He's going to roll a d6. And then he's going to take the result of that d6. The four plus, plus three, that's seven. Give it all might. Plus give give me might. Give me all that. Seven and might? Yep. You want all might? Mm-hmm. He's pretty tough. Boom, now I'm off the damage track. 
All right, so that was your turn. Now we are back to no the longer. dragon. I'm thinking. I got something in motion here. I don't know what it is, but it's in motion. All right, so it capsized the boat, but it would still be in forward motion, so that would put it on track with Rogoth, since he's still in the water. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do a speed defense against the dragon... I'm specialized. All right, so that takes it down to a 12. You got a six. All right, so four damage after armor. Okay. All right, and we're back to Ravina. You are trying to get back above the water, I would assume. Yeah, uh, question. Yes. Can I use my far step? What does that do? Uh, you leap through the air and land some distance away. You can jump up, down, or, or across to anywhere you choose within long range if you have a clear and unobstructed path to the location. You land safely. Or I can use my wings. You got wings? I do. <laughs> I would think wings is the way to go. Because, like, unobstructed, you are obstructed right now. You're in water. You said you're in. <laughs> I'm also going to spin this. So to I keep the wings? To keep the wings. So, I grow wings and I land on shore. Alright, so we'll put you flying above the water, basically erupting out is of the water. she on the right side? <sighs> Presumably. And, and I you, grabbed my fender. It yeah, was, I should course. go drop just off grab my him. yippee app on the shore, too. Yeah, drop me off on that yeah, shore. So. But I need my spear. I need. I mean, Roka. Y'all would be flying towards shore. I'll put it at that. And Rogoth is underwater. Swimming towards shore. That's fighting. I don't know what he's doing. No, he's fighting. Uh, I don't know what to tell you about that. He's fighting. He's fighting mad. It's every, clobbering every time. time. Every turn, that that beast gets hit by one point. You did forget that. Yeah. Where's the book? I took down for the turns you've had. Damn. I do want to destroy everything around me. Is that normal? No. Okay. Sometimes I want to punch in the air really hard though, and see if it makes me like fly, or if it makes a sound like. like no, I just want to fly. It's like really fast, like shh. I do that in dreams. Like, like Neo in the second Matrix when he's yeah. trying to, you know, save Trinity. I or like, like the um, all the the world. Man. Man. All right, then we will go back to Rogoth since he is the one committed at this moment. All right, attack the beast. Mm -hmm. And you've got your specialized, I'm assuming you're going to wreck him. Mm -hmm. And I have that feat of strength, so okay. max it down again. So that would bring you down to nine. nine. Come on, mother die. Work with me. Eleven. Yes. So you hit him now. What's the total of your tally of punishment? Eight. Eight. All right, now, when you hit him this time, because, like, he's he's come back around you, and when you hit him this time, you actually see, like, he kind of turns on his side and wriggles for a minute, like, convulsing in pain. There seems to be some serious damage done here. Now you can roll speed defense, because he's going to lash back. Come on. Goodness gracious. Four. Yes. Okay. Oh my goodness. I think most of this that I'm looking at right here is Ronnie. Yeah. And him. A little bit, yeah. He's gotten some of his back though. Like most of this I think is his 31 light. Alright, then. Um, 
there's a reason I put a lot of mics. Yeah, right? I know. I've been there myself. Um, is anybody planning on doing anything other than getting to shore? I need my spear. I need some snorkeling gear. But you don't want to go in the water. Right? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So then we'll go back to Rogoth. I have rope. Get it. Yeah, let's go lasso it. And that means that you're rolling a nine again. Jeez. Mm -hmm. You are not rolling a nine again, but you no. are rolling your speed defense now because the dragon is launching at you again. Underwater. So that was a crit failure. Um, with an eruption and explosion of lightning, you see this body launched out of the water. At a crit failure, that's 10 points. Okay. Does he get launched on shore? He's launched out of the water, probably back into the water, but, yeah. But you will all see this. Wait, can I use a rope to try and... Save him? To lasso him? Yeah. I'd allow it. Okay. What do I need to do? Um, you just need to do a movement towards him. Well, I'm flying, so... Yeah, so it's long range, so one turn would get you movement towards him, and then at that point, you would just lasso him. So if you can do a successful speed roll, so 15 starting out just to get to him, I'll allow you to do the movement and the lasso in the same turn. So that makes it what? 12. 16. Rogoff. As you are launching through the air, you feel the cool breeze against the burns, the electric burns on your flesh. And you're thinking to yourself, Aiden, save me. And then whoosh, a lasso has caught a hold of you. Mm. And you look up to see that Vina is winged and carrying you to shore at this point. Everybody on shore can look out to see the wounded, bleeding Ulfeist as it continues to circle in Donovan Cove. It has managed to protect its territory from these invaders as they all sit upon the shore thinking about themselves, their lives. I can and hear those thoughts and, and what I'm they're like, going to do. Let's go kill it. Now. Does anybody want to take a turn to do a recovery roll? Yes. Uh, can I do it? I think maybe everybody would want it. Me, if it's for a turn. Uh, what do you got left? I get a free for recovery roll. For an hour roll. You've got one hour, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Action in ten minutes. You've got ten minutes. I've got the whole thing. I've got the whole thing, too. Yeah. So you can do one action, ten minutes, and then one hour. I would allow for an hour worth. So that's three three rolls of D6. Okay. Each one, you add your tier level to it. What are we recovering? Our health? Over like our might? Your, yeah, any of your points that you I'm lost. I'm going to do this one at a time, how many, so it's not much too much bad like this. So I need... So what was that? Was that three, three, and six, seven, eight? Yes. All right. Plus eight. your, what's your tier? No, I already did. That's, that's what the math they're doing for yeah. it. She rolled a one, a one, and a six. So, so what am I rolling? So 14. So you 14, you can spread it across any of the ones that you've lost from. Four plus three, that is a seven. 
Correct. Um, give it all to me, might. Give me might. Four blue. Oh, what are we doing here? What are we, what are we rolling to find this out? What did you say in blue? Four. Four. All right. What, what do we roll? You roll a d6 and add it to your tier. Five. All right. You want five might. And I got a tier? Oh, I just add five. Right. Oh, to your tier. Whatever your tier is. I almost eight. got everything back. Oh, so eight total. Eight total. And do I get to do that again? Because it also says I have a free recovery roll for my equipment. Yes. Total, you want that all in your might? What do you have left? What do you have that you lost? Um, let's see, I lost. Let's see, that's four. Let's see, that's five. 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 Six left. I had 18. So, uh, give me all of it in might. <laughs> 13 might. to total. I almost got everything back. Did you have any missing out of speed or intellect? No, I, I didn't use any brains oh. at all. Okay. Rogoth? I need five speed. <gasps> and 17 strength. 17 more. So, Rogoth, I think you and Yip Yap need to figure out what your tally is at now and adjust on your sheet. I think that she. You've already got yours done. Mm. And then uh, Jin Callus is back to Seven, full. Eight, nine. Ten. I got two of my and then arcs. Intellect is full. Make a mind stats. Oh. Just go ahead and put a line through your spear. No, it's not cannon. It's not cannon. <laughs> it's not cannon. No. What does it mean, Mega Mind? Tell me. No. I still have it. It was a fake. In your soul. It's in your soul. It's in your memories. You still. It was a fake. It. You know, it, it, the tide's going to get lower soon anyway, so... Right, or you got to go back and try to kill that beast. I'm going to kill it. How, how dead is it? Or close? Do you, do you really want to know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to let y'all go back right now, but you do you really want to know? It's yeah. 15 points away from God. Oh my God! Oh my... We hit it like twice. I hope you know that. Like, realistically, if Rogoth had hit it one more time and any of y'all had actually hit it again, it's already taking... A, like, literally, if it was Callus's turn right now, it would be down to 14 <coughs> points of damage left. That it he only does one point of damage? He does an additional point of damage every single turn because it's taking burning damage. It's in the water. doesn't matter. It's magic fire. 
Oh. Magical. So. Magical electrical. Yeah. We are looped. Real close. Real close. Uh, how many times did we attack it? Like three or four times? That's it? The rest were just getting Most abused. of it was... If the dice didn't let me attack it, so... Yeah. Most of it, y'all were just trying to survive the water. I think the water was the hardest part. Yeah. Like, she fell into it for one turn. It, she it was, was like, it was an nope. <laughs> and used some magic. So, now, as you're all resting on the beach, I just want you to remember, you collect your thoughts and figure out what's going on and, and not paying any mind to the do, 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 war drums that are approaching you. What? What? are these tribal drums that are happening. It's the juice drums. And you look up to see what's coming, and if you want to find out what's coming towards the injured party, you've got to tune in next time to the same Saturday Night Gaming channel at the same Saturday Night Gaming time. This has been Tony Stevens bringing you Starfall Season 3, more than eighth. We've enjoyed you. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Be good to you and be good to your family. Until next time, we love you. Bye! I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Starfall. If you did, be sure to head on over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out some of our other cool games. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. I hope you have a fantastic week, and until next time, this is Laura Hibbard with Saturday Night Gaming signing off.